Hello there. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. It's been, it's been, I mean, not been like a while, but like a little bit of a while since um, I made another video. So I felt like doing one. So here we go. Um, so the diamond painting today that I'm going to be working on for you guys is a diamond art club kit and it is called Sesame Street Friends. Um, I'll have the image pop up as usual. I think you guys know the drill if you're not new to my channel. <laughs> if you are new, um, my name's Christy Ann. Hi. <laughs> I hope you guys, like I said, are doing well. But yeah, um, it's Diamond Art Club Kit. It's Sesame Street Friends. Um, and I have some information for you. Stats or details <laughs> surrounding this kit. Um, because you can still purchase it from Diamond Art Club. I will have it linked down below for you guys if you're interested. But um, it's a round drill diamond painting. The size it is um, 40.9 centimeters by 32.8 centimeters. Now it's pretty, it's a pretty weird size in terms of centimeters, but it, it kind of evens out um, when you convert it to inches. In inches, it's 16 by 13 inches. So a really perfect like snack sized kit. Um, I think if I had worked on it, you know, on one of my days off, I probably could have finished it in two days. I think it took me about four days to finish it, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I finished it like a, like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> um, and so I just haven't filmed yet really for it until now. So we're doing that. Um, there's only 13 colors. Well, I guess it's thir 15 colors. Two of them are AB drills. The AB drills are um, AB 130, which is a bright yellow color. And then the second one I believe is 132, which is a bright orange AB. Um, I love the choice and placement of these ABs. Um, since this kit is mostly color blocking, um, the entirety of Big Bird's yellowness <laughs> his yellow feathers are all of the ab the yellow ab and um elmo's nose and cookie monster's cookie that he's eating um his, the nose and the cookie are um the orange ab so this kit is just so adorable and did not take me long to finish at all i'll go more into depth as to how like how i worked on this kit um and like what order i decided to do, do everything in um, as well as talk about um, why I'm doing this kit <laughs> and yeah, all that stuff. Um, also, I, before we get started, um, I'm going to talk about some of the tools that I use. So when kitting up um, all my diamond paintings, I kind of have finalized and figured out the tools that I like to use. Um, for kitting up the... Um, storage system that I use is the Elizabeth Ward um, trays. Those are fantastic. Um, and I will have a link down below for all of these tools that I'm talking about. Um, hopefully these are updated links. <laughs> um, so yeah, so for kitting up, I use um, Elizabeth Ward storage containers. Um, for diamond painting trays, I use um, Muni Maids trays. This one I just got today um, because I ordered um, a Muni made diamond painting and I um, upgraded for the premium toolkit. So in my opinion, this is one of the easy ways to guarantee getting one of these trays, especially the large trays from Muni made shop. Um, you order a diamond painting and you pay at least $20 extra to have a tray made and you don't know what color you're getting. Muni herself, um, or I guess her team, they pick um, whatever color tray you're gonna get, and they pick try to pick a color that they think will go best with um, whatever kit you um, purchase. So that was that's the tray that I use. Um, the pens, um, I just got this pen like a couple days ago. This is from Bistro Blanks, and it's not gonna focus as per usual, but it's a little Chippendale pen. Um, I got it, at, like I said, from Bistro Blanks, and it was my first time ever purchasing from them. And I don't know if they do this all the time, but the way that I purchased this pen was, was I went on Bistro Blanks' Facebook group, and I'll have that link down below. And essentially, um, on one day, um, 
the bistro blanks shop owner i cannot remember their name i'm sorry but they listed a whole bunch of blanks that they created and um then they said at this time we're gonna post make individual facebook posts in our groups for um each of these different blanks because there were a whole bunch of different ones but this is the one that i had my eye on and um when they when they made a post for this blank um you basically comment down below in the post um pick me and then the shop owner will go and randomly um assign a number to you and after like a couple hours then they do like a random number generating thing <laughs> and if your number gets picked then you get to purchase the pen so i won like surprisingly and i had a couple friends apparently like um put their names down below or comment down below so that they could try to win the pen for me which i thought was really sweet so i love this pen it is so cute it's not like i said not gonna focus but it's adorable um and then this bad boy is my um, everlasting tip it's a 15 placer from the etsy shop everlasting tips um and wax <laughs> the right now i'm using in both my multi placer and the single placer um the heart-shaped wax from Diamond Art Club. I switch around with what I use depending on how I feel. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, wait, actually, one last thing. The cover minder that I'm also currently using is this little Dale one. It is, like I said, not going to focus, but it's Dale because um, Dale is my favorite of the chipmunks. Um, and the shop owner of Bistro Blinks gave this to me as a little freebie when sending me the pen. <laughs> so thank you. I, just, I love it so much. Um, and if you don't know, a cover minder is basically a little decorative magnet that you can use to hold back the um, plastic sheet on your diamond painting when you're working on a section. So, yeah, that's all. Uh, <laughs> those are all my little tools that I use. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later on in the video. Have fun watching. Something in my brain causes stress So come on, make me feel different mm -hmm. You wanna hold, don't hold back oh. Your little drama's got me mad And I don't need to tell you facts You know I always want you back
wanted to talk a little bit about I guess why I'm working on this diamond painting um, so I started working on Sesame Street friends right after I finished working on um, gray pride kitty so it was still in June and I wanted to work on a kit that was you know like rainbow colored themed <laughs> and um, something happy and snack sized after working on the very large um, pride kitty pride kitty kit I can speak English properly, but yeah, but also um, I purchased this kit mainly because um, one of my friends, um, her name's Emma, um, she works at the amusement park called Sesame Street Place or Sesame Place. I've, I've never been to that park, I'll be honest, but they have the Sesame Street characters there and um, Emma's or I guess one of Emma's favorite Sesame Street characters is Abby Cadabby. Um, I'm not fully well versed on all the Sesame Street characters, but I know that she's the pink princess fairy one with the pigtails in this in this artwork. And that's her, one of her favorite Muppets or Sesame Street characters Muppets. I don't know, but <laughs> She loves that character. And this was the first um, Sesame Street themed um, diamond painting that DAC has released. And so the moment I saw it, I knew I had to get it for Emma to give to her for her birthday. Um, her birthday is later on um, this month in July. So I thought it'd be perfect to work on and, you know, have her birthday present ready ahead of time so that I don't stress about getting it done. <laughs> um, and yeah, so... I think she's really gonna love it. Um, I have not, as of now, given it to her yet because 
Um, I still need to paint the borders black so that it's, you know, ready for her to just frame if she wants. Because um, as always, if you guys don't know, I always like to, um, if not seal, I like to always paint the um, diamond painting borders um, with black acrylic paint. Um, just to kind of give the diamond painting a natural border. That way I only need to use command strips to hang it up. And then it's just super um, easy <laughs> and pretty cheap to do. A lot cheaper than framing it from Michaels, trust me. Um, so yeah, so that was really fun to work on. Um, it was a delight, in all honesty, to put the babies in Big Bird. I think I did Big Bird last. Um, and he was just all yellow ABs and it just made my heart happy. Um, I think the very first character that I worked on was Elmo and Elmo is amazing. He is just so sweet. Um, and yeah, I used to watch Sesame Street a lot when I was a kid. Okay. Well, maybe not a lot, but I, I par partook, partaken. I can't English. I watched a little bit of Sesame Street growing up, but I was more so um, a kid who watched Teletubbies and Barney the Dinosaur. I think those were the main ones that I watched, but I watched a little bit of Sesame Street as well. Um, and I think also, I I'm looking at the image right now and I see Grover and I'm trying to remember those children's books, but they, like in the late 90s, early 2000s, there were um, a couple children's books themed around Grover and Grover, it was like, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of the book, but if anyone can remember, it's these, it's like Grover the superhero, but he's like afraid that the book is going to end. I'm probably making no sense. If someone knows what I'm talking about, please let me know down below that so I don't feel crazy. But <laughs> yeah, so um, that's the type of memories that looking at this image reminds me of. Um, but when I worked, started working on this diamond painting, um, as some of you may know, I like to take my diamond paintings to and from work. So I definitely wanted to take this one to work, but I wanted to save working on the characters for when I was filming. And of course, I'm not going to take all my filming equipment to work because um, that's just not normal. Don't don't do that. <laughs> but so I was like, OK, I'm going to work on the light blue sky and the clouds um, at work. And basically, as I started bringing this diamond painting to work, um, I, I blinked and all of a sudden my coworkers wanted to help me work on this diamond painting. So now, anytime I bring a diamond painting um, and I know I'm going to be at a specific location that day with some of my um, favorite coworkers, I have to bring an extra tray and pen so that if they are there that day, they um, can help me work on the diamond painting. Um, because it started off with them working on it when I'm working and not on break. But then if it so happened where I was taking a break at the same time that they were taking a break, um, it, it would kind of like, you know, in a friendly way, clash with each other. And we'd be like, um, who's going to work on the diamond painting? <laughs> so I just started bringing a tray. And then um, my friend and I just started working on the sky and the clouds together. And... <laughs> There was like one of the clouds. I think it's like like one of the bigger clouds. There's only three clouds, but um, my friend was on her break and she's like about to start on the cloud or, or no, we were working on the cloud and then she had to go back to work and she was like, please do not finish that cloud without me. And um, I was evil and I finished the cloud, but I saved her the smallest cloud for her to work on. <laughs> yeah, so the, the moral of this story that I'm telling you is that Diamond painting friends are the best types of friends. So if you can make some, um, or at least convert some coworkers, <laughs> or even just some of your regular friends into diamond painting, that is always fun. Um, and I've gotten a, quite a few people at work to um, get into diamond painting. And um, I like to recommend websites like Diamond Art Club, Jada Gem Shop, Craftably, um, websites with legally licensed artwork. Um, for them to try out diamond painting and I've apparently they've actually been doing it and they got their kids into it and they love it so that type of stuff makes me happy um but yeah so super happy that um 
I have this done for my friend Emma. Um, I really hope she doesn't see this video before I give this diamond painting to her, but I guess we'll see. Emma, if you're watching, happy birthday. <laughs> um, so yeah, without um, further ado, I'm just going to continue on with the time lapse portion and I'll see you guys in the end. And I'm going to show you guys what I like to do nowadays with my leftover drills. I hope you guys liked seeing how that diamond painting turned out. It's just so cute, so adorable. And what was the price? I don't think I said what the price was. It's only $30. I feel like this is a perfectly, like, like I said, a snack sized kit, a good price, adorable, and very beginner friendly. Um, I feel like Diamond Art Club, I don't know if they've started yet, but I feel like it'd be a good idea if they could make some beginner kits that are like square drill. I know round drill kits are like perfect for beginners, but maybe there are some beginners who want to try a square drill kit, it's square drill kit, and they, but they want something small in case they don't like square drills because that's not everyone's, you know, favorite size, not size, shape. Anyways. I think that'd be a good idea if they're not doing it already. But um, what I wanted to show you guys um, is for those of you who might not know, um, my typical, I guess, procedure whenever I'm kitting down, which if you don't know, kitting down means that you are taking all of the drills out of your little storage container and either organizing them, throwing them away as I tend to do, um, or basically putting the leftover drills separate from your storage container. That way you can put new drills in for your next diamond painting kit. So, um, I started with pride kitty. Um, I think I was on a FaceTime call with my friend Jade, who, um, is the owner of the shop Jaded gem shop. I'll have that link down below for you guys. If you guys, for whatever reason, don't know what shop that is but I was FaceTiming with her as I was about to start kitting down Pride Kitty. And she was like, hey, what like what um, shape drills are those? And I was like, oh, these are round. And she's like, can you please save them for me? She's like, please don't throw them away, save them. And I was like, okay, I'll do it, but like, why? And she's like, when I like to make diamond painting pens, um, she likes to do this fun thing where she pours drills um, in her res handmade resin um, pens that she makes and she wanted some bright happy colors um to make like a rainbow pen so i started doing that for her so i also did that with the drills for this kit it looks like sprinkles like a big rainbow confetti bag of sprinkles i kind of want to eat it i'm not going to eat it but super pretty so that's what I've started to do. I just get a sandwich Ziploc baggie, dump all of the rainbow drills in there and save them for her. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna, as of now, keep doing that for her until she tells me to stop. <laughs> but um, with this color palette, since it's all, you know, bright, happy rainbow colors, I just pour them all into the same bag. But um, if I'm working on a future kit where there's like a mixture of, you know, like, purples, pinks, and blues, yellows, I'll put those all together, but if there are any, like, colors for, like, browns, blacks, grays, like, weird, dark, natural colors, I'll put those in a separate bag so that it's not, like, a weird mixture of colors. Try to keep, like, the color schemes, like, separate, separated, if that makes sense. Um, but I think that's all I've got for you guys in this video. Um, it'll probably be a shorter video, but that's fine. Um, yeah thank you guys for watching and i'm gonna try my best to do a diamond painting stash for you guys very soon a diamond painting stash video i need more coffee in my system but um as always thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day um oh if you made it this far in the video, leave a comment of, you know, if you made it this far, tell me who your favorite Sesame Street character is, if you have one. Um, but yeah, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.